Okay, let's go to Zero Hit Points. Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody, for the week of December 2. Two. I'm Ryan Miller, and two. Two. Legit. Two. To quit Matt Amber. Two legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. <laughs> the dangers of starting with a song lyric. The dangers of starting zones. The danger zones, as they were. <laughs> it's really nothing I could do. Anything I say is going to be a it's song held lyric? against you in a court okay. of law. Watch now yourself, counselor. Watch yourself, counselor. This is what happens when somebody has the bright idea to start a podcast, record a podcast, uh, when it's the first few words you've spoken in that day period you you live with somebody who wasn't taking kids to school so you probably had a word or two with the missus nope (laughs) no okay fine (laughs) uh we're doing this early today so i probably sound weird no you You sound sound normal to me you sound great to me okay fine because (laughs) i have a job and i have to go to work so we're doing this earlier but it's fine it's cyber moon day is that why you have it off how do you have this day off i took i took the day off oh because you live in the cyber world and it's kind of a holiday no i took it off because i wanted to take monday (laughs) off after thanksgiving (laughs) okay so yeah i don't have a choice i usually work from home just so that was one of the conditions a condition of taking the job was i needed mondays from home so i could set my schedule so i could record the show that's right we're important more important than any other job now we do it early, so it's still important. I don't know. I, I asked permission to miss the morning meeting, and I haven't heard back yet, so I'm assuming the answer is yes. <laughs> so so what, what this comes down to is it's now Cyber Fun Day. Ah, <laughs> don't spend money. It depends, really, on this, the show where we talk about video games, on whether or not we talk about fun video games, I would imagine. We could, we could, uh, we could talk about them. Oh, wait, I just realized you told me ahead of time, you've got some stuff to talk about this week. I do. I've got a couple of things. So uh, do I, but they're familiar. Oh, I don't know if you were at, I don't know if that was a question mark at the end. I thought you were like, so do I? I switched halfway through. It's the truth, but it, okay. I wasn't going to tell anybody. Good. Oh, you got, you, you, you got your, your lip, your lippy in today. I always have it in. You just have, you do just, you really? Yeah. You just don't really see it. It's really? Yeah. I, uh, let's see what like three four weeks ago I changed the the ring on it so that it's like an actual full ring but it was it's been there since huh August so that's how my, the resolution on Discord is I guess literally uh, I've not I've not noticed <laughs> it's been a pixel that's f- flown over my well head that's what week. it is it's I mean I I got a pixel ring oh it's strange you look like the that three D Mario amiibo. <laughs> The, the okay they're all 3d the one that's but it's the 8-bit what games did you play this week <laughs> let's take a little tour down <laughs> to vr town wait no sorry let's take a little tour down to vr village <laughs> that's better played a lot of vr this weekend actually yeah but... what happened <laughs> i like that you're like there was a tragedy why <laughs> what did you do yes i assume there was a family emergency or something yeah you know so there's that whole thing about eating on thanksgiving right and and for some reason it was yeah you could do exercise to help alleviate it or you could just play vr games so <laughs> let's just do that it's easier you didn't work up a sweat playing vr oh i definitely worked up a sweat there were meat uh-huh. sweats dur- like my now my vive headset smells like turkey it's just oh like all of the like <laughs> the turkey and gravy that, sw- that like <laughs> sweated out of my pores into the the foam and stuff yeah did you do a turkey thanksgiving this year yes wait you did one last year that's right we did or did. and the debt in the year before possibly yeah the whenever we stopped being pescatarian we started doing and I don't remember how long ago that is now. Okay. A couple of years. Yeah, three years minimum. Probably. Ma- maximum? Did you guys do it? Did you guys do the full on? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we, the whole deal. Thing. Family and everything? <laughs> Kinda. I've got family close and it's only my parents, so. Oh, so you guys actually had for you a relatively small Thanksgiving yes, then, yeah? Yes, still pretty small, yeah. Did you Which have... We almost did it here and my mom was like, eh, you can do it up here, so. And you were like, yeah, that sounds good. I want to go home and not have to kick people out. Sure. There's more room. Uh, I could see why. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, we hadn't played uh, Beat Saber in a while, and and some other you know other stuff, and and Beth wanted to play Beat Saber, so we uh, I did all the download stuff there, got everything back up and running. Um, some interesting things. 
<clears throat> that I found is uh, number one, Beat Games, uh, unlike Beat Kids, which I do support uh, if you've ever seen <laughs> v- Wonder Shows. Um, sure. Beat Games was recently bought by uh, Facebook. Oh, yeah. I actually just saw that news item as I was scrolling by and did not even click it to speak about this yeah. week. But So that sucks. That sucks a lot. <laughs> you think so? Yes. Number one, no, oh. nobody should be owned by Facebook. Facebook needs right. to go away. But number we two, talked about this. I forgot. Yeah. Then there's the fact that they're, they own Oculus, which means that Beat Saber, I mean, Beat Saber is probably going to have a long life anyways, because it's got a mod community that seems to be pretty, uh, pretty with it, like pretty into it. And right. so far, Beat Games hasn't done anything to stop that. And my concern now is that they are going to start locking things down and make it impossible to remod the game. Right. That would be the worst possible thing. I think also you're you're looking to see what happens with uh, Beat Saber 2 whenever that comes out. Does that stay multi-platform or is it now right. Facebook exclusive? Well, and, and I mean, is it, is, Oculus. is Beat Saber going to be wor- Beat Saber 2 going to be worth a, enough money to buy another game when this is still going to be getting support from the community? Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, that's it's Rock it's, Band one, two, three. It, yeah, yeah it, 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 it's it's all up in the air. We don't know. I, all I know is that they they uh, Beat Games being owned by Facebook is not something that pleases me all that much. Um, there's no, uh, you know negative to it just yet outside of the general right (laughs) but uh one of the things that can be kind of funky about the vr thing in general is when you're setting up the room scale uh you kind of like you do this like you walk around the room with one of the controllers and you hold the trigger down and it kind of does this like tick 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 like you feel it vibrate on your controller and on the screen you can see how it's making like what the room is going to look like so that the, huh. the thing knows what your space is this is the vive by the way the one you're yeah. using right so so i've gone through that and i've done it a bunch of times and it, and and it's kind of like the way my space is set up i i have kind of a uh, it's more rectangular than square. So so the, the short sides can become kind of an issue when you're wanting to reach all the way out and I don't have a, a, t- a super tall ceiling so I can't like, you can't r- li- lift your arms straight up. <laughs> oh, oh, the one I hit while I was there. I, I hit it twice <laughs> yesterday actually and so like everybody does. But uh, I found that that there has been so much work done for, uh, because Steam VR is actually open platform so uh, mm. open source. So right. open VR ha- has all sorts of, of uh, um, GitHubs, uh, people doing stuff on GitHub, uh, all sorts of, of modifications and, and whatnot. One of the things that was, uh, it's been there for a long time now, I guess, and I just never looked at it, I never really considered it, was uh, some, some folks figured out how to create more uh, advanced um, options. So like advanced settings so you can be, because you have because i have a room that's kind of weird shaped and everything i can i was kind of limited by what steam vr would let me say is here's the direction i want my front to be the the front of like where i want to be facing at all times oh does here's, it only let you set up a square like no it doesn't... No, no it's it's just but it's all it's again it's it's based on like like how the the shape of 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 your room is steam gotcha. vr only allows the the like the front and the back to be kind of a specific direction. So like if you have like a, like longer sides, those are going to be the front and the shorter. So it's, it's kind of a, it's a funky thing. In any case, I, I I decided to download this, the uh, uh, advanced settings and install those. And, uh, and Holy crap, man, that just makes a a, a huge, huge difference in terms of like everything. The people have figured out how to, how to really work with this. And so now it's like easy to, um, flip the uh, the direction of of where I'm facing up to 180 degrees, which is perfect. Um, huh. You can set the uh, they've got more options now for the barrier, so it's not just necessarily the grid; it could be something else. Uh, there are uh, they they've figured out ways to do height adjustments on the fly, so you don't have to go back and do room scale and like reset everything up all the time. You can actually go into the settings, adjust it right then and there, and then you're good to go. Um, and this was a big deal because I wanted to play Creed and the way my setup was, I couldn't get the screen to face the right direction. It always wanted to go the other way, downloaded this and got to 180 it. And now I'm able to play the game 
in the direction that I wanted to. I know it sounds nice. stupid, but it's kind of like a weird thing, and it yeah, might. No, I played you know. the game. It's pretty stupid, but I know it nice. is. I really like that game, though, man. That game is freaking <laughs> exercise upon exercise. If you're really trying, which I was, thank you very much. Yeah, and I played on a PSVR, which I knew wasn't in in a uh, con setting. So nothing ideal about it, I would imagine. Probably not. Uh, it's. I mean, it's basically the same game you played. I really like it, though. It's super fun. But when it works, I bet it's better is all I'm saying. Oh, it's great. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> there are there are definitely downsides to it. And the game is not perfect. It, you know, a huge part of it is uh, um, <laughs> there are there are things that like like your blocking doesn't necessarily slow things down the way it should. Or when you like the the detection isn't quite there so like if you guys hit each other at the same time it doesn't always quite work like you may not always hit them even though you definitely did but it doesn't like freeze frame and then like a big explosion emanates from between you until yeah and then danny devito shows up see i was going towards the matrix i don't even know is it is this a sunny no. Reference, Danny. I just like Danny DeVito. Danny I thought DeVito. he should be there. <laughs> okay, all right. Danny DeVito that. could play Burgess Meredith in the the life story of Burgess Meredith. He could and should. I think he should, yeah. Uh, Disappointed that he doesn't seem to be getting around as, as well as he used to. Burgess Meredith? He's dead. That's why. Oh, 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 oh. oh. now I get it. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Creed is good. The VR is set back up. <laughs> Beat Saber... Uh, Another one just went through and I decided to uh, <laughs> I decided to throw a little Google search out there. You know, what were the best mod songs? Pulled down a ton of songs for that, man. No oh boy. There's some really good note trackers out there that just songs that I don't know, but the person has done two or three downloads that I have. So I've gone and picked up more of their stuff. Don't know the songs, never heard them, but they're tracked really well. They're really fun. Super <laughs> great, man. Uh, I, I really, really, really enjoy that game. Um, Are they like the generic kind of electro, electro techno song? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> or electro from Spider-Man. No, I've got songs. Uh, or uh, they... so there's some Depeche Mode in there. Oh, let's see what else. Uh, well, no, those are songs you know. I'm curious the ones you say you don't recognize if they're like top 10 right now and you're just like, I have no idea. Yeah, no, they're, I don't know hardly any of them. They're all, uh, okay. you know, they're all heavy electronic based. I wouldn't say they're all techno, but they're all definitely along those lines. Uh, okay. But there's plenty of like remixes in there. There's like like Michael Jackson and um, sorry. All, all sorts of stuff. Michael B. Jackson. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. It's just him. It's just, it's... Somebody put a drum beat to every line he had in, uh, <laughs> in a, in a, in something. I don't know. He's similar. It's like Michael B. Jackson and Michael B. Jordan my, are basically the I same guys. I was going to say my Michael B. Jordan slash Jackson joke is failing on all fronts. Yeah, we know we've, we've both taken it. It's early. So <laughs> it's so early. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the only other thing I want to mention is, uh, so the, uh, Beth was was she was looking at stuff and she found um she found a uh, a free game that's a uh, roller coaster game. <laughs> okay. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a roller coaster. We just pulled the pulled the chair up, uh, sat down, and and uh, it's a roller coaster. But <laughs> oh, it's man. it's a roller coaster that's like uh. You, you know, it's it's a video game roller coaster, so it's like all these rocks are falling at you, and there's deserty stuff. But then, if you look to your right, you're riding with a zombie, and he's like he's there, <laughs> and your your hands are like your controllers are your hands, and if you click in the the like the trigger. A, uh, an extendable selfie stick comes out and the <laughs> and the zombie guy will lean over and go and put like two peace signs and stuff and you could totally take screenshots and there will be a screen and like it'll take a selfie and it's a screenshot <laughs> so I, I was like oh this is kind of funny like and it does you definitely get some sensation with the uh, with the movement with your feet on the floor like planted and and if anything is touching you you're you're kind of immediately taken away from the feeling of sure, sure. of it it's you're, you're like you're immediately grounded in a weird way but where it became uh, super interesting was was the game is free but then there's a whole bunch of paid downloadable maps and on each of the maps there are like there's multiple game modes there's the just go and just experience the thing there's a shooter mode where you get like you can slow <laughs> down time and then they're like little little things pop up and you can kind of like shoot at them. Same no ma- same joke. map, but it's got like little, you know, little pop ups and you get like a little yeah. a little like a, a crossbow thing. Uh, and then there was another one. I don't remember what the other one is, but it was, you know, for free games, super fun, super novel, super goofy. 
Have they started releasing for this game or otherwise like legit, like the Ninja or something like actual roller coasters out there? Oh, I don't know. Virtualized? That was, I have not looked. This was just something she picked up and it was in the game itself. Somebody needs to start doing that. Um, because you lose, it's not like people are going to do the virtual ninja, speaking of the ride from Magic Mountain, which I've been to most recently, and like not go to the park. I feel like it would only be a bonus. Yeah, I mean, you'd think so. I, <laughs> there, Nothing has been in there, though, yet. Um, I will say uh, something that you might want to check out that you might think is cool uh, it is on the PSVR is the Spider-Man Far From Home VR experience. Oh boy. Is it better than the... I'm actually in the middle of rewatching that because my daughter and apparently my wife never saw it, even though I swear she was in the theater with me. Uh, so... I haven't seen it, so I don't know anything about it. But it's I mean, we talked about it on the, the other yeah. show. But uh, I wasn't super enthused with it, but... This one, uh, you get to swing around like Spider-Man. First person Spider-Man oh, okay. swingage. So All check right. that out. I think it's free. It's It was free okay. for me, so I assume it's free for you. But We'll see. Who knows? I've been, I mean, if I'm going to boot up my VR at all now, it's you're kind of getting me pumped for it, but uh, I, 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 I have been meaning to. The the uh, the last the last game I'll mention, I guess, uh, I, I, I think I said last thing. That was the last thing. Uh, Raw Data, finally, I finally got nice. kind of into it. Like, I actually sat down. I was like, okay, I'm not just going to play the little tutorial things. I'm actually going to play, the, like, the first part of the campaign, the first, like, level, the mission and oh, everything. Oh, do you have the full version of the game? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Freaking game is good, man. Once you <laughs> once you get the the the... Once you kind of get the feeling of moving, doing the teleportation movement, um, it's fun. That game is just super great, dude. Like, like I can only imagine how stupid you look when you're playing it, but it doesn't matter because like you're you're teleporting all over the place, and you are like I'm totally like dodging and ducking and dropping to my knee and and shooting you know like drones out of the sky and. And then finding out later on, that, which I didn't know right away, that there are different characters that you can unlock. And there's like a dude with a samurai sword and there's a guy with a bow and arrow. And I've just been using a pistol dude. But yeah, yeah. it's super great, man. That game is, it looks great. It's, they've got the whole thing set up. Like the gameplay is there. Uh, huh. It's it's great. It's a super solid game. Totally fun. I I get why people dig it and are into it. So I've played that demo probably more than any other definitely so i think that's worth the money that was worth the whatever huh. like 20 bucks i spent or 15 bucks on it mm, that's not bad actually yeah either yeah super great really fun i'm uh sorry keep going with your vr no that's it I... that's actually no? the 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 village has closed down everybody has gone home for the night the vr has been turned off the lights are done the lights are dimmed. Uh, we're all asleep perfect and i'm still here talking about how i've been on the fence of the oculus quest again owned by facebook uh disclaimer but they, that thing came out i've heard only good things about it it's it's the one that has inside out tracking does away with every like all of the wires basically it's got a charge on it that one it's reduced resolution but i have a psvr so i'm looking up all these comparisons about you know how is it and by all accounts it's better to equal with the psvr uh, but i also have like probably near 100 bucks worth of games on the psvr right. so i'm kind of you know reluctant to switch platforms altogether especially if i'm rebuying stuff but you, you know what i'm buying today my my, <sighs> my my one black friday video game or my one cyber monday video game purchase okay tetris oh that's right oh now, do it oh cool because yeah. it's mm -hmm. now available yeah oh yes oh yes very excited now then i, I, I see now i definitely am going to put the headset on because <laughs> you've made me think about that game yeah i gotta pick it up it's good it's fun gotta get it yeah i only have non-vr games to talk about so all right well hit me with either those. we end the show right now okay yes or it, we only end the show if you're going to at any point and i'm just i will close i will literally <laughs> shut the laptop down i will sh oh, i no. will close the lid on my laptop and walk away <laughs> i'm not kidding if you try to bring up dc legends <laughs> <laughs> i actually did not put it on the Good. list this okay week. i i don't think i even have anything to add um no so but, but the games aren't new either way uh, but i've kept going on star wars jedi fallen order oh man the more time i spend with it the better it's getting obviously i'm getting deeper into the combat into the story into the levels i'm 
this is the first type of this game for me, really. Again, I've heard it compared to Dark Souls a lot. So I've discovered the loop is because the save points are manual for the most part. There's no auto saving. You have to go deep into a level, beat a bunch of enemies and hope you find another save point. Otherwise, if you die, you go all the way back to the save point and you have to find the enemy that killed you to recover that XP at all. Yes, so, that is very Dark Souls, right? Bloodborne. Okay, so first time I'm experiencing some of this at all. And once I got the hang of it, because there were a few times where I got pretty far and died, and I was like, man, this this sucks. I'm also playing on the second to highest difficulty level. The way they surface the difficulties at the very beginning is they show you the meter for the parry window and I think the health or something like that. So I chose the, the option that was right down the middle on both, which was the second highest difficulty for whatever reason. AKA I think, or normal. Something. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's just the way it, it worded it was that if you've never played video games before, play this default mode. And I'm like, well, I have I played have. a video game. Yes. So... so. But it, uh, there, once I figured out that, because there are also, there's like a shortcut mechanic, which has been kind of silly in the past. Sometimes you'll just unhinge a rope or open a door and it's like, shortcut unlocked. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I realize now that that's because sometimes you'll get far enough, unlock the shortcut, still die without a save point, but then you can take the shortcut, get your uh, health back. So it kind of, it's like a, a checkpoint without being a checkpoint there right. a little bit. So yeah, there's a risk reward and I'm beginning to understand it and enjoy it for sure yep that's so. uh it's bloodborne yes and i've heard it's it's a bloodborne and or dark souls kind of for the masses not quite as punishing yet so oh, I i'm don't sure know. yeah i don't know if this is a window to any of those games for me but basically it's it's a really good game uh it's even better if you like star wars hmm. and it, it kind of regardless it's still rough around the edges oh all right. that's that's it so still far still want to try it yeah, I want to. I definitely want to know where the story goes. Like, I'm pretty f into that. Yeah. Even if I'm not super hot on the main character, Cal Cal Custis, I think is his name. Cal Custis. Mm -hmm. Cal Cutta. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I dipped way deep into for me, anyways, we're talking. Actually, you know what? This might have been the one I played the most. I had an LFG through TA. <laughs> wow. A looking for group set up through TrueAchievements.com for call of duty modern warfare special operations mode mm -hmm. and what did, when did we play i think we played it was some of the whiz tuesday and then we failed so okay i'm calling it special operations from here on out because it is not spec ops mode unfortunately which is what i hoped against hope that it would be name notwithstanding it, whereas you know uh, modern warfare 2 and 3 spec ops were, were these short little bite-sized things that you really had to move through you could do them with only one other person if you wanted i believe there was online play but they were fun also just alone because you're moving quick it's literally forcing you to be tactical with your running and gunning because usually i play these games and i and i love them for the gameplay but i am you know i will rush ahead and kind of run and gun you know not necessarily thinking to any tactics other than shoot the guy quick hurry yeah and, and spec ops was something that forced you to kind of do that uh, tactfully which I, I thought was awesome uh this mode special operations in the latest call of duty modern warfare is more about these kind of large scale objective cooperative missions that you're doing nothing entirely special uh, some of the rough edges, <laughs> even though been, it's in the names, I, they've ironed out some of the rough edges from what I hear. Uh, they weren't really awesome on launch. We're a ways away from that now, it seems. And for the most part, they've been fine. They're just initially not what I was there for yeah. again. And it was disappointing for a bit and also not easy. Like the difficulty you're playing with four people this time. So there's a bit more to it, but they throw a ton of enemies at you. They're infinite, which is like, uh, my the the greatest sin for me in yeah, these games not, now not a fan of the they just keep coming so if you hunker down anywhere for any amount of time you will get overwhelmed essentially is what it is so you have to move to an objective do it quick and for the most part it's like you hack a computer it, it's almost raid like in in i say this only knowing destiny raids but it, it it's kind of that in that there are these multi-tiered objectives that you need to cooperate on to get through the level yeah so you'll go somewhere hack a computer and you have to search through different file folders and then you'll find one that says what the 
uh, number on the crate is, and then you have to go find the crates in that area. And then when you're done with that, you move on. So you're running and gunning the whole time, setting up different. Uh, there are, there wants to be kind of operators. In fact, they're called operators like Rainbow Six, but uh, having played little of that game, I don't think it's a, quite a one to one. You just get a different perk really like we all basically everybody that plays these things chooses medic because then you get a quicker revive right but you still get to carry the same guns you know you do have different special abilities here it's a team revive so but there's just really no there's not as much difference between the the operators here as, as rainbow six or something like that so fair enough played one of those uh took us forever and we're going from kind of square one we're not looking up guides or anything which is fine i think i kind of preferred that at first because i was still getting used to it even though i wasn't really into it at first but figuring them out became part of the fun so we got through the first one i think it was a three-hour session and we got through that barely at the end started the second realized the second was uh, there's a glitch out there where you can become invincible if you load up a hostage the wrong way or the right way so we did that, except the game bugged out, maybe, except we didn't know what the objective was. I don't know. So that's where that session ended. Set, uh, set up a quick one for the Friday after Thanksgiving. Went back, uh, did another three-hour session of that, and uh, completed that one with the glitch right away by doing the glitch. It, it literally, you, you're... The other thing these things are trying to do is be Modern Warfare or Call of Duty in that they're these set pieces kind of one after another which has been where I've enjoyed the games, even the more disappointing games. Like Modern Warfare 3 definitely wasn't the best Modern Warfare, yeah. but it had these set pieces where you're going into a submarine, you're taking down the submarine, sure. you're getting in a boat, you're going to a chopper, like all in the same level, like one after another, and you're like, man, this is nuts. Stuff like that. I think they're trying to recreate some of that, but it's just in a multiplayer setting, it doesn't work as well always. Sure. So yeah. in this one, you you get a hostage, you carry it to a chopper, you put it on the chopper. If you put it on the right way, the person who was carrying the hostage, which was me, becomes invincible. So for the rest of the level, I'm just running around like doing Murdering the whole everybody. level. Basically, yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty great. Nice. <laughs> so Love. that worked this time. We got that one. And then I think we did the third one. There's only four. I can't even remember it, but we got stuck on the fourth one and the guy that was helping us had to take off. So we picked up a random who ended up being super cool. Also was like level one zillion. And we're like, you guys, you ever done this level before? He's like, oh yeah, I, I far, I grind this level basically. Cause you can get a gun up. I don't know. This dude was like into it for all of the different reasons that we were just going for achievements and stuff. Good. Yeah, good. You know, but he was a cool dude. Yeah. And he stuck around for the second one where we got stuck for another hour or two hours or something. Cause it's, it's multi-leveled. It's so multi-level, they actually give you a checkpoint in this one. <laughs> but, and this did happen two, three times, so it's not perfect. We got disconnected. So we lost our checkpoint. And this this is after getting to the end. Like, literally, we can see the last objective. Oh, that sucks. But we've been hunkered down too much, so the enemies are building up. Like I said, we've we've got RPGs that we're trying to send at the last remaining tank that's blocking our way to the X-Fill exfiltration point sure i think is what that stands for i think you're right and, and it just all fell apart and then disconnected so oh, good. that that ended there still got one more to go so maybe someday you'll hear how that wraps up but man not not the mode i was looking for uh in the end entertaining yeah get with a good group of guys but still a little, Sound, little rough sounds <laughs> like it was all right though yeah 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 that's all i got cool except for dc legends Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I don't have anything to add. Stop asking. No. <laughs> I will. Not much to hear about this week. It's Thanksgiving. Yes. Week. The one thing I grabbed and the comment section to the headline are just pure gold. <laughs> have you seen this new game of Uno? Mm-mm. <laughs> They've removed the red and blue cards to avoid politics discussion. <sighs> And the, and the comments are like, you know, this is a joke, right? It's not a joke. It's real. Like, like maybe somewhere, somewhere, somebody at Uno Idiots. is like, this will be a fun, stupid thing to get headlines, but <laughs> real dumb. it exists. I wish it didn't. I hate everything about it. <laughs> if you have to read any article about it, do the Polygon one. Cause it's, it's got a few paragraphs in there about the green card alone. 
<laughs> I don't want to talk about green cards, man. Not not on this. It's it. We're a public radio station. Their point exactly. We could we you, could you, uh, we could one of us could be in trouble here. I don't want to point not. fingers. <laughs> okay, all right, fair. Moving on. Moving on. That's all. All right, I'm, cool. I'm happy to hear you hadn't heard about that and that there's nothing else to hear about. And if you're wondering why we didn't talk about uh, the new Half-Life game at all last week or this week, it's because we did and it stopped recording. So we only had half the discussion and I deleted the whole thing. Good. And we're going to leave it at that. (laughs) I think we possibly could. (laughs) We'll find out. My VR is working now. So when it comes out, I'll try it. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see. Is that game coming out? Uh, Half-Life Alex, speaking of, uh, to everything? Not just the Valve thing? (laughs) no idea i'm sure okay. it will definitely come to the vive there is no chance that's not like it's on it should that's been their partner it's up till steam now, right? it's steam vr is like right. it exists because of that so yeah. and plenty of people mad enough that it's a vr game period oh yeah i don't think we need to bring exclusivity into that really no but who knows but Valve hey is such a company nowadays it doesn't it doesn't mean anything it could be the best game in the world we will find out you will find virtually out. I definitely on the PlayStation VR will probably not find out. I don't think. Yeah, you know, it could come back. It could come out in like the Blorange blocks or something. <laughs> Orange box too. Yeah, okay. I would love it. What would they put in it at this point? I don't know. They haven't made the, enough games since the, the Orange Box One. It'd be called the Tangerine a, Box, and it would be all VR stuff. That's possible. Hey, come back for book club for movies sometime this week. We're going to be doing some TV volleyball. I'm pretty yes. excited about. It. We got lots of television shows to uh, to go over. Gun be weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and one. don't forget last week's uh check out last week's episode on Knives Out. That was a uh, that was a just a delight in every respect. <laughs> the show and the movie. Yeah. Spoiler. Great on stuff. our thoughts for the movie. Saw saw a really interesting uh um thing from uh, I I want to say it was the DP uh on the film okay. that he uh the way they did a whole bunch of the shots, they actually shot um uh day for night shots. And then they used, and then night for night shots, and then they composited them both. What? Yeah. What? You've never, you, you have to know that people that use That sounds day, bizarre. No, they always use day for night shots. That happens all the time. No, no, that I know. Yeah, but, but this, they co- they composited the two to get like, so they're, they're, then the- fo- I mean, I'm kind of surprised they that, that they would do day for night anyway. Like, I feel like that, uh, yes, it's done all the time, but it's still kind of a cheapy way and you kind of so avoid you, it when you can. And when but you, it sounds like they're doing it on purpose they, for- No, they did because they yeah. composited it. So that it's- That's it's nuts. They, So the, the shot that they use is, um, and spoiler alert, it, it's the shot where we see Chris Evans jumping over the fence going towards the house. You know, when he's coming up the, he's coming up the drive, there's the little tiny fence. Yes. Okay. So they showed a picture of the actual in-camera still, and it's nice and bright. And yeah, it's got some, you know, some twilight in the corner because it's, it's getting to, um, to dusk, but then you see the final composite shot and you're oh yeah, no, it's totally like the reason That's that is so cool. bright and, look. and looks so good. It's because of how they did that. It, it's this really YouTube. No, I saw this on, I found this on like Reddit or something. I'll look for it. I'll send you the link to it. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Check out that show and that show on that show. And then this show about the the TVVB, the TV volleyball, TVs, TV things. Book up for movies. Book up for movies. And then also Zero Hit Points, podcast at ZeroHitPoints.com. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's what we are. And ZeroHitPoints.com and Zero Facebooks and also Zero Twitters and Zero Insters. There's none of them. Zero of them. We don't have any of them. But if you look for us, you'll probably find us. It's impossible not to. It's, it's, and that right there is how you end a show. <laughs> how?